let us try and figure out together. Was Budapest Memorandum the greatest mistake of modern Ukraine? Let me remind what Budapest Memorandum was. It is an agreement between Ukraine, Russia, the US and the UK, according to which Ukraine agreed to give up its nuclear weapons in return of guarantees of its independence and territorial integrity. Trying to understand was Budapest Memorandum a mistake? Let's look at the events that led to its signature. In 1991, the monster of Soviet Union collapsed. Hooray! Ukraine and 14 other republics previously occupied by communists were free. Three of them, apart from Russia, possessed nuclear weapons – Ukraine, Belarus and Kazakhstan. But Ukraine was the only one, the only inheritor of nuclear weapons, who heavily debated its plan to give up the nuclear weapons. Actually, Ukrainian government did not want to do that. Why? Because they were afraid Russia will attack. And it happened so decades later. Nuclear weapons were seen as a tool to protect Ukraine and its territory from Russian attacks. And global leaders persuaded us it's not true, Russia will never attack. Now we see that nuclear weapons can be a really strong argument. Everyone sees Russia is a terrorist state, but no one is ready to do anything because Russia possesses nuclear weapons. If Ukraine kept its nuclear arsenal, perhaps the story would have a totally different way. Contrary to what Putin says now, first Russian President Boris Yeltsin acknowledged Ukraine as an independent state and recognized the long history of the country and promised Russia would never occupy Ukraine. Ukraine still did not trust and Budapest Memorandum was constructed. In case Russia attacks, the United States and the United Kingdom guaranteed protection of Ukraine. The process of negotiations and the preparation of the Budapest Memorandum was really long and complicated. Ukraine was trying to fix guarantees and to make the US and the UK provide some very definite sentences and very definite military obligations. The United States at that moment did not want to take any additional military obligations and they debated for a very long period of time when finally found a compromise and composed the text of Budapest Memorandum. I think it's obvious that the countries which signed the Budapest Memorandum could not attack Ukraine unless a military threat was imposed on them. And that is why the Kremlin goblin Putin decided to announce special military operation claiming that, you know, Ukraine was attacking Russia for the last 10 years and it was just about the protecting of Russia. But that helped him to maneuver the text of the Budapest Memorandum and others decided to forget. Why? Nobody knows. Well, maybe because the obligation to continue and protect Ukraine militarily was seen as an escalation and nobody wanted a nuclear war and pretended Budapest Memorandum did not exist. Others like saying, well, Memorandum is not something obligatory, but it is an official document, the creation of which took really long time and efforts of many, many, many top diplomats. This document was signed by the leaders of Russia, the UK and the USA. And perhaps in this world, if we want to survive, the signatures of such people must mean something. In comments below my videos, I often find sentences like 
Budapest memorandum was a mistake, Ukraine was silly to sign such a memorandum. But guys, let's look at memorandum from a different perspective. Imagine that you simply trust people with whom you sign an agreement. Imagine that global diplomacy is responsible for the actions it took 10-50 years ago. And maybe if the countries who signed Budapest Memorandum reminded Russia they intend to protect Ukraine's territorial integrity in 2014, we would not have this full-scale invasion. Of course, Russia is to blame. Russia is a terrorist state and Ukrainians are super grateful for all the support that we receive. But please don't get irritated if we ask for more missiles to protect our skies and prevent deaths of children. Please don't get irritated if we ask for more jets to protect our territories and return back occupied lands. We cannot survive in a world where a serious intention of a country to get rid of deadly weapons, a decision supported by global leaders who guarantee this country life, can be ignored. I don't want to live in such world because it resembles Ruski Mir a lot. I am sure we are different and let's stop looking at Budapest Memorandum as a mistake. Let's start looking at it as one of the elements that guarantee the future victory of Ukraine. We must remember about Budapest Memorandum. And please don't pretend it never existed. If the world was a normal place, that would be a very correct decision to give up your nuclear weapons. Imagine how safe we would feel if all the nuclear countries gave up all of their nuclear weapons. And also, respectable countries guaranteed Ukraine at least its independence and territorial integrity. So now, when we are asking for weapons to protect Ukraine and not only all the democracy globally, please remember about the promises made in 1994. My name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine. Subscribe to my channel to see Russia defeated. Thank you for buying me coffees, becoming my patrons, but most importantly, thank you for standing with Ukraine. Slava Ukraini!